Listen, what well, go on, man? It's T's back again on the Three Pointers TV. Listen, we've got the famous TikTok oh, Arsenal fan. Go on. Kibzy on TikTok. Kibzy, spell YouTube, it for us. Spell it. K spell it. I V Z double Y. All platforms. Type it in, you'll see it pop up. There you you'll go. See the face. There you go, man. What are we saying, man? How do you feel about uh, today's? Uh, you see, it's result. a frustrating one, man, because. Let's start, the, start, start a bit, start a bit, oh, right, before the year, game, before, right. even before the game kicked off, right. I'm there thinking, what's the, what's the starting line I'm going to say? Because okay. with I saw glimpses of Saka, he was in the squad training, you got the leaks, I knew Saka was going to start. Mm. But for me, it was who was going to play in that back line, because he had no right. Saliba, exactly. who was he going to put That's centre-back? What I, yeah. So then yeah. he put Ben White with Gabriel, I was like, cool. Obviously, we got um, Party right back and then Timba in there. Mm -hmm. And I was like, rah, okay, against Liverpool's wingers, right. Diaz, Salah, I'm like, yeah, one on one, it's kind of right, no, techy, but. Remember, it, we spoke. Uh, yeah. After the Donetsk game, and I said if he puts Ben White with next to um, centre back, you're talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, we, and that's what he did, right? Yeah, yeah that's what he did today, still. That's there what he did go. today. So we started off alive. Bukayo, this is what Bakayo Saka brings to the team. Straight off the bat, energy now. Great goal, cut inside, cleaner cool. That's what yeah, when you have Martinelli, he has them little spells, but he hasn't got that killer instinct like a Saka. That's where Saka's level is. Listen, up. listen, Lewis, for me, let me pause, pause on, for a minute. On. Listen, right, you see that? I want to see comments about this Martinelli situation because everyone started to really no, he's getting exposed a lot of yeah. people are scrutinizing little yeah, people me, really has the little they got the magnifying glass out now and everyone started to Saka's check him. level where it's decision making boom okay. and clinical so okay. it was a good start and then obviously the energy was there liverpool in the end caught us with a set piece surprisingly but they've got that quality little moments a trent cross van dyke header kind of bounced right. down and then van dyke just nicked it in so they've got that quality we have to watch out for. Let's stick with the Martinelli situation. So do you think in the January window that we should go in and really Arteta needs to buy somebody that's going to challenge Martinelli, like give him competition on that left-hand side now because 100%. Martinelli seems to be going backwards now. He's starting to, it's like he's starting to slightly decline a little bit. His numbers are not yeah. equating to what he was doing yeah, yeah. last fair, two seasons. Yeah, yeah, especially. 100%. To be fair, in recent games, like, the Shakhtar game, he had spells, obviously it was an own goal. It's not like he just bagged a, a certified goal in it. Mm. So that looked like he was picking up his form slightly, mm. but I do believe we need to sign someone. Mm. But I think Arteta is waiting for Odegaard to come back. Because when Odegaard comes back right. from fitness, he's going to obviously take that trust on So role, we're still kind of might missing that creativity in, the, in that midfield. Literally. Fair but enough. today, the performance-wise, going off from Martinelli, we all, the team as a whole, we should be proud. We done ourselves well. Liverpool would have well came said. here and I agree. seen certain I man agree. missing, thinking, "Oh, we're gonna dominate them." Liverpool was shocking. They were happy to get that point. Right, that, right. That, that second half now, when Gabriel we made them, came off, we made them look ordinary. That's what I'm we saying. Made them look ordinary. And you see, 54th minute was certain. Gabriel came off, got a knock, and that's when you know it's serious because you don't want to sub them man off, especially when there's no Saliba. So then that's when he brought on Kivio, yeah. and I believe with the Shakhtar game. All the Bournemouth, no, nah, it might have been Bournemouth from he had 10 men. Right. Kivio came on and then got subbed off same game. So it's like, what's his confidence saying? So when he came Whoa, on, it's kind of like... Not, not, indivi not, not only individually, but throughout the team, right? Yeah, because true. someone, a fan made a point to me about, you know, when, when you're missing a figure like Gabriel, it kind of could have an effect on yeah, the whole yeah. team. Because when, when it's time to sort of, you know, track, track back or you know what I mean? It's kind of like... Shaky. Like, yeah, shaky. So yeah. it kind of makes maybe the whole team a little bit nervous. Right. But yeah, props to Kivio. A lot of aerial yeah. jewels he won. The cross yeah. he, he was getting the headers out. Yeah. So respect to him for coming in and doing that job. No, well but said. In the end, see, when you got a man like Salah on the pitch, all it takes is that mm. one chance. Man will take it. Because yeah. he, he didn't play well. Obviously, big up Lewis Skelly. He tried to do his thing. But it's like, when their man put on pressure, Salah's an experienced guy. They've got the good wingers. Mm. When it's that crunch time for them to get a goal and they get the chance, they, they take it like that. Mm. So that was unfortunate. But as a whole, I feel like we should be proud of the performance. Because yeah. me, before this game, I said if Saka weren't going to start, I, we're not winning this. We're well, just listen. not winning this. And when I saw Saka starting, I was like, 2-1. That was my mm, prediction. Yeah. And in the end, it's 2-2. Two, two. So the results-wise, Man City won today. Man City are the winners. They're top of the league. But yeah. as in title talks and all of that, we're still in the title race. Still in the title race. Fair enough. Yeah. We made Liverpool drop points and we're top three. Like It's still close margins. There you go. It's just... Annoying that we, we could have done. We could have done with the three points today. Literally, because if we played shit today and got a two-two, then it's like the same thing against Shakhtar, yeah. Bournemouth. We're not seeing anything, but the performance-wise yeah, was should, good. Yeah. It's so would you, little, you say we should have won that game? Yeah, hundred percent. Right. We deserve enough. to get the three points today, hundred percent. Listen, my man. Listen, remind the people them. 
Kivzi on all socials. K I V Z double Y. That's me, yeah. Right. Kivzi, yeah? Yeah, that's me. Ah, respect to you, man. All right, respect. Three points TV. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave your comments in there. If you agree with what Kivzi said tonight, listen, man, leave them in there, man. All right.